Okay guys, so today got something a little different here. Um, still keeping in theme with Hot Wheels, but we have the uh, Disney series of uh, character cars from Hot Wheels. And this is not the whole series. For a while I was buying the whole series of these and then I was like, you know what? It's kind of silly to buy a whole series of them because some of them I didn't really care for. Um, so, um, three of the four that I have here will be opening. Uh, and, um, so let's get right into it here. So, uh, I guess we'll probably start with, um, Pluto here. And before you say that they didn't give him a tail on the graphic, they did. Why isn't it showing up on the camera? There you can kind of see it right there. He's got a tail. Just um, can't see it because of the black. But obviously this is Pluto. And then this is the character car for Pluto. I'm kind of like... Um, not really a station wagon. I, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for here. Uh, I'll come up with it. But um, anyway, just kind of a cool looking car. I'm going to call it a station wagon for lack of a better term. And there's the uh, back of it there. Like a, a sedan delivery is what I was trying to think of. I knew the word would come to me. The reason I say that, a lot of the old uh, delivery sedans, even though they were titled as a delivery sedan, they only had two doors and then the um, window was paneled out with just a big metal panel. I don't think paneled out is a word, but whatever. Well, we might, good grief, we might open this up. That made a loud pop. So all of these are just generic. They don't really say the names of the characters on them very or anywhere. So it's actually a pretty heavy car. Uh, the base is plastic, but there's enough metal here. It makes the casting pretty heavy. It's got a pretty orange uh, paint job, kind of a... Uh, I don't want to call it starburst beige orange, but that's about the color that it is. Um, but um, I'm just going to say orange. Just kind of, it, it's right on with uh, the colors though. We've got the green because Pluto wears a green collar. Well, most of the time Pluto wears a green collar. Uh, it's got the steel wheels on it. As you can see, um, I noticed in a lot of these new character cars, they're starting to feature the newer wheels. They don't all just have the mainline wheels. So the reason I like this one is it's not goofy enough of a car that um, it doesn't look realistic. It's definitely a modified something, but it doesn't look completely made up. You know, it's not like Wally or uh, Pumbaa over here, but uh, or Olaf, but that's why I like this one. <clears throat> but pretty cool. Uh, they do say the names of them on the bottom, in case you can't figure out who they are. It says Pluto on the bottom of this one, of course. It's a pretty heavy casting. And it's gonna roll away. About two Wallies because. Um, I was going to hang one on the wall, and then uh, that way poor Pumbaa over here isn't alone on the wall, and then I wanted to open one up. So we also have Olaf. These are all from Series 5, I guess I should say that. <clears throat> and surprisingly enough, the place that I've been able to find these is at Aldi. So if you guys have an Aldi uh, grocery store neck, uh, around you, that's where I've been finding these. And like I said, I don't buy all of them because some of them are just kind of goofy. This is a really heavy... Oh, that's this one's all die-cast. That's why this one's heavy. <laughs> it's like, man. 
So this is Olaf from Frozen. Look how small these wheels are. But, um, yeah, so my first impression of this casting, other than it's kind of cute looking, is um, it's quite heavy, and that's because the base is also die cast. So it's completely die cast. There's not really, I guess the hood is plastic, which would be his nose. Um, so honestly, the only thing I don't care for about it um, is the blue wheels, which I know following in theme of Frozen, they are blue like the ice, but he, I don't know. I don't care for the blue tires, but I do like the ice. Um, it's kind of very creative on the side, you know. It says ice. It's got the different little diamond uh, decals on it. It's got silver tail lights on it, but the license plate is abbreviated, but it reads snowman. It's not going to focus. There we go. It's kind of a fuzzy decal anyway, so it's not going to focus super great on it. Got a little spot in the bumper here, but other than that, I don't see any issues with it. It's actually got a somewhat detailed interior. It's got a seat, and um, of course, since it's an ice truck, it only has one seat. And then it looks like some boxes back here, compartments, where, of course, they keep the ice. A little metal luggage rack on top, which would be, I think, Olaf has little hairs on the top of him. And the plastic part is a hood that does not open. It'd be kind of cool if it opened. I don't know what would be inside it, but it'd be cool if it opened. Uh, there's little buck teeth there. And, uh... You know what? I said there's no plastic on this, but I think the fenders and bumper here are plastic because I just noticed that tooth is plastic but the base and the body are die cast so it's still pretty heavy casting it says Olaf down there and uh, we'll go to Wally next <clears throat> Wally from Wally of course and um got his little picture there of course and then they were pretty creative with this one too um you know i mean and the reason that it, it impresses me with um wally is because wally is uh a machine himself you know like he's a robot they glue these down really well and so for them to turn him into a actual like automobile I think that's pretty cool. So, Wally is mostly die cast. Um, yeah, his eyes and the his hands are die cast as well as all of the yellow. Obviously, the compactor box with the plant in the plant that's in the boot, and then his little fake tracks here are plastic but uh, it does read Wally underneath there and um, he's got those little bitty wheels in front kind of bl black chrome wheels kind of so they did a good job with the the decals on here he actually does look rusty just like Wally is it says Wally down there They did a good job with his eyes, too. I mean, they really look like Wally's eyes, but yet they still look like the windshield of a car. It appears they even included windshield wipers on these windows. And there's your little seat. There's his little computer screen thing that he has. That thing. I guess the, the solar level there's the back of it there 
And then again, I like the feature of the little plant because that's a big part of the movie is the plant. The plant in the boot. So pretty cool. He's pretty heavy casting too. I never know what to expect with these uh, character cars. And Pumbaa here looks like, and I may be incorrect, this, I can tell the top half is, well, you know what, after Olaf's plastic fenders here, I'm not really sure if I want to take a guess at what's metal and what's not on Pumbaa here. But here he is, I'm not going to open him up, uh, just open these three up that keep wanting to roll back off my table. Um, Pumbaa has some berries or bugs or something on his lip. Because that's what he eats, of course, in Lion King. Pretty cool. Alright, so we got two to go on the wall and the three that I just showed you here. As long as it doesn't roll away. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's not too many of them in here, just three of them. But, um, or four of them, I guess, with Pumbaa. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.